even in a competition between giants, there's always going to be a party that loses out. Such is the story of Northrop Corporation's YF-23 aircraft, lovingly known as the Black Widow 2 and Grey Ghost. Today, most people have forgotten about this phenomenal aircraft, placed as a footnote in history as the one that lost out to Lockheed Martin's YF-22, now known as the F-22 Raptor. But the YF-23 was anything but forgettable. History 40 years ago, the U.S. faced legitimate concerns about a possible nuclear war with the heavily armed Soviet Union. The aging F-15 Eagle, while brilliant, had a slim advantage against new Soviet aircraft. This led to the birth of the Advanced Tactical Fighter, ATF, program in the early 1980s. Design Northrop known for its high-performance aircraft, partnered with McDonnell Douglas to design the YF-23. Its prototypes, the Black Widow 2 and Grey Ghost, were slightly larger than its competitor, the YF-22, giving it a range and speed advantage. Powered by Pratt Whitney YF-119 engines, the YF-23 showcased technological advancements. Wing design The YF-23's brilliant wing design featured trapezoidal wings, offering advantages in both low and high speed flight. The unconventional butterfly tail reduced drag and improved maneuverability. Its cockpit placement enhanced pilot visibility, and the internal weapons bay maintained stealth. Engine performance equipped with Pratt Whitney YF-119 engines, the YF-23 marked a breakthrough doubling the thrust compared to the F-15 Eagle. The boundary layer control system addressed airflow challenges, ensuring stability and stealth. Despite lacking thrust vectoring, its fixed engine nozzles enhanced survivability. Armament The YF-23's armament system focused on air-to-air -air missiles and air-to-ground bombs, all carried inside the internal weapons bay for stealth. From AIM-9 Sidewinder to AIM-120 IMROM, it covered various engagement ranges. The advanced fly-by-wire system and cutting-edge core processor made it a technological marvel. After four years of testing, the YF-22 was selected over the YF-23, leading to its dominance as the F-22 Raptor. Despite claims of superiority by YF-23 designers, political forces favored Lockheed's entry. However, Recent hopes arise for the YF-23's return through Japan's F-3 6th generation fighter program, potentially bringing this forgotten masterpiece back to the skies. As aviation enthusiasts, we await the possible return of the YF-23, appreciating its contribution to modern engineering. What are your thoughts on the YF-23's revival? Let us know in the comments and stay updated on advanced military developments by subscribing and turning on notifications. Thanks for watching.